video um yeah i still haven't got an intro together so yes you guys um i should have an intro on the next video i hope fingers crossed i have an intro next video i'm gonna work on that um and today is just going to be a video on three strand twist mini size though um, I want to say these twists probably took me about the same amount of time that it would for, you know, any of the other twists. And I say that because even though they're smaller, I still, you know, did it in the same pace. And I think that's what people forget. Like, regardless of the size, as long as you're doing it in the same pace most of the time now. Um. So this is what the twist look like. Really cute. And most of the time when I do them on my own hair, I really don't do straight parts. I try to. Now the back I know it's not straight at all. I'm not even gonna act like the parts back there straight. This hairstyle I say would last about, you could make it last for two weeks, probably longer, but I like to leave mine in for about a week and a half. At least, well not every morning, but however you see fit. Spray your hair in the morning. Just fill a little water bottle up. I'll just spray the twist. It's just to get some moisture in there. I mean, you have moisture in there already, but it's just to get the twist. A little moisture on them, you know. Spray the water on. Rub your fingers through. Just to get some water on. And after you do that, I like to take, well, yeah, I like to take um some oil. No matter what kind, whatever kind of oil that you like to use. Just get some oil and in your hand, rub it through your scalp, and work your way down the twist as well, just to make sure that you know you give me have some oil, every part of it, some oil on it, just give them some love to the twist. You know, you can't forget about them, definitely not the scalp either. So, just work your way in there. All in the back. And you don't have to use that much oil. Just by the hand. <clears throat> Enough to fit in your palm should be fine. And I like to use uh, two different oils. You can use one if you would like. One is fine, two is fine. No matter. Just whatever your preference is. All it up. And um, what I would suggest when you're doing the twist, when you get to the front, instead of making a part to one side, make it like, how can I explain it? Like make it the parts go all the way to the back on each side. That way. If you want to do the middle part, want to wear your twist from one side to the other side, the middle. Boom, there it is, down the middle. Flip it to this side. Yes, you can flip the twist that side. Boom, there we go. Flip them to this side. And got a little hairstyle over here. Oh, I'm flipping back to this side like I had it. Which is my favorite, obviously. Oh no, I just like my hair being to this side. Very much cute. Yes. And 
Let's do some little updos. Leave a few in the front. I think the updos are my favorite. I don't know. When I first went natural, ooh, let me make this chair be quiet. When I first went natural, like, this is how I always kept my hair in twist. And I used to just style a twist however I wanted. Do a little top bun. However you do your bun, you know. You can add some gold, little accessories. Go a little accessories to go with it. You know, nothing major. And what I also like about um, the twist, whether you do the two strand mini twist or the three strand mini twist, as long as you take your hair down from whatever style you do and spread with water, it'll go right back flat like you had it before. Like, you know, did see hair, none of that. So yes, continuing. Let's do some more up styles. Comment down below, are you an up style person or you know you like styles that are heavy hair down more? I think I like mm, I don't know. I guess it just depends on the style because some styles that I do that are updos make me look a little older, make me look my age. Some of them don't. Some of them make me look younger. Which I, I mean, you know, I don't have a problem with looking younger. That's fine with me. Do a little bun. I keep leaving the piece down. Y'all don't have to do that. Let me cut it up. Boom, little space buns. Show you what it look like from the back. Boom. Boom. My sister's gonna kill me. When she see me do it, I'm gonna leave it in there too. Okay. Next. Y'all, I'm getting sad, like... Wait, maybe it's an overpass. Hold on. Nope. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Very cute, very simple. Not too much work, not too much manipulation on the hair. Yes. I know some people don't like their hair to stick up. I honestly don't care. Like I like for my hair to be wild, so stuff like that don't bother me. But if it bothers you, you know, just fix it. Lay them down a little bit. Sometimes you got to play around with your hair 
to get it to where you need it to be. Let's see if we get straight. Boom, oh, there y'all go. Mm. Mm. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And another thing with these twists and why I like them, as you can see so far, it is a very versatile style. So you can pretty much do whatever you need to do with it. I feel like this why it's more, um, it is very convenient. If you're, you know, working all the time, working throughout the week and on the go, on the go, on the go. And, you know, you just really don't have time to fit in, you know, a little bit of extra time to do your hair in the morning. So I feel like this is the perfect hairstyle to go. Perfect hairstyle to go to. I mean, you can never go wrong with twist at all. Do something a little bit more down. And these styles would definitely, I would definitely recommend um, any like hair accessories, whether it's the string, the little, the little, um, I don't know, I don't even know what to call them. It's the little gold pieces that you put on your hair. They, they come in gold, silver, and like some other colors. <clears throat> so I would definitely recommend those as well. Easy, something quick, you know. Something else easy and quick to do. Nothing too major, nothing too hard. Something quick and simple. Yes, leave a little bit in the back down. All of that good stuff. So yes. Mm. And boom, we're back to square one where we started it. Nice little sad action going on. Um, one more thing that I wanted to talk about um, in this video as well before I end it is not only is this hair very, hairstyle very versatile, but this is the perfect way that you can um, trim your ends if you don't want to get your hair flattened or pressed or whatever you want to call it. Perfect way to trim your ends. So what you would do is... Take the end, and mine probably look horrible, y'all, so don't look too hard at mine. But, like, if you already know how to trim ends, then you know that's fine. But I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, boom. So, for me, I will cut it right there. Like, where it's... It's starting to be clear, like where you can see the ends, the dead ends at. That's why I would clip it. It's like some days I'm like, you know what, sis, this hair is going to grow back. You might as well just cut it. I mean, what, what we stressed about? What is there to be stressed about? This is just one little inch. One little piece, probably even half an inch. I don't even know how many inches it is. So why not cut it? But then again, some telling me like, all right, you cut all this hair. And you really don't know what you're doing. So when you're going to get your hair, your ends trimmed for real, now your hair gone. Now she got, now Miss Tim got to make all the hair even. But yeah. That was my rant. Yeah. 
Yeah, most of the time I just go home and cut where I need to cut it because I noticed the year that I didn't trim any ends because I was so scared as to, ooh, my hair is going to be uneven. That's when I had to get the most cut off. Instead of me going, you know what I'm saying, cutting it little by little myself and, you know, letting it grow back on its own before I go and actually get my yearly um, silk purse. And I kind of messed up myself. So, yeah. If you can, I would suggest just cut the trim, trim the ears off. It won't hurt nothing. So, I'm going to go through and um, kind of trim up what I can. Okay, and one more thing that I wanted to talk about as well is um, something that I wanted, I should have added on the last video. Or maybe I did add it. I don't know. I'm not sure, y'all. But anyway, it is this. Since we are talking about twists and, you know, you want to make them, the twists last as long as possible. Um... Keeping your hair protected at night as well um, is important as it is with any other hairstyle that you do. It's always important, 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 very important. So this is what the satin pillowcase looks like. And the satin sheets look just like this, very soft. See, I can wear my hand across it. No static, none of that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Type of um, pillowcase, sheets, all of that to have. If you're natural, I mean, even if you aren't natural, I would even suggest having satin sheets and pillowcases. And this one, by the way, was just one dollar at my local Dollar Tree. So. And they had other colors as well, but I just got black. So, yes, I would definitely suggest um, buying that as well. Because if you're like me and I have, a, um, I have a satin cap, but if you're like me and sometimes you just forget to put it on before you get in the bed, you're not going to get enough out the bed at that point. So, if you have the satin pillowcase, you won't have to worry about this. It's just like, you know, having cap on because you won't have to worry about your hair being messed up none of that so it's just perfect so if you're lazy like I can be sometimes definitely 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 get the satin pillowcases or the satin sheets or get both if you know if that um helps out even better and yes that's the end of this video don't forget to like Comment, subscribe, share this video with um, your family, friends, you know, everybody. Everybody that you know, just share the video. Tell them to share the video. Tell their friends to share it. Just everybody share the video. And 
I'm out. See you on the next video.